Morning Mountain Chums, me again today. Today, I'm starting out of an inevitably very busy Seathwaite, heading up to Base Brown before we hit Brace of Gables, Green and Great. It's the last weekend of August 2023. It's the first vaguely dry day we've had for quite a while. Ah, here comes some light rain. But there is some blue sky and the forecast appears reasonably optimistic. So we'll keep going for a bit, see how we get on. Totally different from June when it was lovely and bright, not a cloud in the sky. Now there's almost nothing but. little stream off to the right is Sour Milk Gill. No, not that one. Not the one you're thinking of, that's in Buttermere. But it is another Sour Milk Gill. Some slightly steep steps. Ah, interesting stuff. I think the path goes off to the right here. I wouldn't be tempted to try the left because that looks slippy as anything. And there's enough slippy going on today without adding to it unnecessarily. But the sun is coming out. I'm already too hot, so that's probably a good thing, isn't it? Yeah, why not? A little bit of light scrambling to wake you up in the morning. Not far from here we'll turn left because we have to head up and under the hanging stone which right on cue has appeared just over there. Oh, lovely. Nice little bit of a long.
the lovely path appears to have petered out. I'll try saying that three times quickly. So it's become an exercise in route finding. I think I'm going to head over to the left because it looks like a bit of a path. And that is definitely where we're heading. Come on. I can see a path. You may not be able to see a path on this film, but I can make out something of a route. I don't think this is a particularly well traversed route, but it heads towards the pretty epic looking hanging stone. I'm certainly not the first person to come this way. Hopefully not the last. I mean, that would be awkward, wouldn't it? Yes, no, awkward, that's the word. That's a big old rock. Huh. I think there is a direct route up that way or a zig, followed by a zag. Very much dealer's choice, I'd say. Doesn't look too bad going straight up, so I think we'll do that for now. The hanging stone looks amazing from here. It looks slightly like Easter Island statues. So the route we're going to take goes around to the left underneath the hanging stone. I wouldn't want to go anywhere near that, honestly. And then after that, I don't think we're that far away from the top of Base Brown. Don't be tempted by this path that seems to head off to the right, which looks like a quick way up the top. What we actually want is the traverse route, which goes a bit further round the hill. So not there, but there. I have to say the path is very unclear. There is what I suspect is a sheep path that heads straight round the side of the hill. But I want to go up, so I think I'm going to break right just next to this slab and hopefully find the path a bit further up. There is the faintest of faint paths zigzagging up through these grassy boulders. I think, if truth be told, I could have turned right a little bit earlier, given that I've found a genuine looking path. Well, reasonably genuine. Certainly a path. Or a path. We've gained some height now, and the sun is back. There you go, that's base brown, 646 meters, 2,119 feet. 
It's one side of the Seathwaite Valley and the summit of the northeastern ridge of Green Gable, which is where we're heading to next. From here, it's basically a straight line up to Green Gable and then beyond it, Great Gable. And off over to the left, you can see the Scarfells. Scarfell, Scarfell Pike, Broad Crag, Ill Crag, all the hills over there. Well, the rain's coming back, which is suboptimal, but it is what it is, and I imagine it will go away at some point. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but someday soon. And then it will obviously come back again because that's what rain does in the Lake District. There we go, progress being made. High speed. It really does help when you can actually see where you're going. There's a lovely bit of zigzag pathery up here with some nice clear way marker cans. It's near film stuff. Oh, the rain could go away though. going to say the mist has descended but I'm not sure that's entirely fair to the cloud having just ascended into it but it is drizzly and a bit damp I can still see the path pretty clearly not far now I think you can just start to see the the round summit of green gable we shall see whether Anne is about There we go, it's Green Gable, 801 metres, 2,628 feet. Oh, and the clouds are just lifting. You can just see down into haystacks, Inominate Tarn, Buttermere, Crummock Water, down to Blacksell Youth Hostel, and across in the mist, Great Gable itself. Here we head down to Windy Gap and it is quite windy today so the clouds are coming and going like nobody's business. We are now heading up. It's 
looks scrambly, but I think off to the right, it's basically just steps. Maybe even off to the left. I think we'll be all right. Sort of level with Green Gable about here. We'll see what it's like on a slightly misty, slightly rainy Bank Holiday Monday. But Great Gable is one of the most popular fells in Lakeland. It's a good line of cans. There you go, that's Great Gable, 899 metres, 2,949 feet. On a clear day you can see down into Wasdale, but what today is not, is a clear day. From the summit we head east, and then southeast, down to Sty Head, and from there we head northeast, back to Seathwaite. Just below the summit is a memorial plaque, commemorating those members of the Fell and Rock Climbing Club who died in World War I. After the war, the club bought 3,000 acres of land, including Great Gable, and donated it to the National Trust in their memory. I'd say that this is, as my Scottish friends say, Dreech. Well, the path is clear, which is good. I feel we may be walking down out of the clouds. That is a nice bit of new path. I've worked with better, but not many. That's Stihead Tarn just coming into view, which is reassuring. Seathwaite Fell is dead ahead, but it is still raining and it's just not worth the effort, I'd say. We'll come back another time.
Here we go then, heading back down towards Seathwaite. Seathwaite fell up on the right. Obviously now not in cloud, although it is starting to rain again, so I think we're probably better off out of it. As philosopher Jagger teaches us, you cannot always get what you want, even though you might sometimes get what you need. I have a feeling that some of this river might actually be path, but uh, who's to say? path takes us down to the famous Stockley Bridge and then we take a left and make our way back down the valley. This little path leads us back into Sea Toller and from there home. And that's about it from me for today. Thank you very much for watching, if indeed you still are. If you've enjoyed this, do please like and subscribe and join us another time, hopefully, for another Wainwright walk. Stay safe. An unambiguous path, or path, that's what we like. And some sunshine, and valley, and cows, and, you know, nice things. <laughs> the bigger lump over there is Glaramara. Glaramara? Glaramara? Which we're not doing today. Partly because I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Might burn through, might